Hey everyone, I'm Liz Fairy, and today I'm going to show you how I made these fluffy crochet cat ears. This is a new improved version of my old cat ears video, where I showed you how to make these basic stripey ears. I made a brand new pattern to go with this project, which you can find in my Ravelry store. Some things you'll need for this tutorial are a crochet hook, I'm using a size E, a pair of scissors, some bobby pins or stitch markers, and yarn. In the original tutorial, I used two different shades of purple to make a stripey Cheshire Cat inspired set of ears. If you want to see how I did that in more detail, check out the old tutorial. For these ears, though, I'm just going to use black. I'll also use a little bit of pink for the inner ear. I also have a black headband I made using the same yarn. I'll sew the ears to this headband when I'm done. To sew the ears, you'll also need a yarn needle, and if you like, you could use a grooming brush to make the ears fluffy. I've already made one ear because both the right and the left ear are made the same way. First I'll make the back of the ear, then I'll make the front, and then I'll put both sides together and add a peak at the middle. Since I'm starting with the back of the ear, I'm going to start with the black yarn. So the first thing I'm going to do is make a double magic circle. So I'm going to loop my yarn around my fingers twice, then through the middle of the two loops, I'm going to insert my hook and pull up a loop and chain one. This chain is not going to count as the first stitch though, so I won't mark it as my first stitch. Next I'll single crochet into the loops of my magic circle. So I'll insert my hook into the loops, pull up a loop, and single crochet. And this will count as the first stitch of the row, so I'll mark it with my bobby pin. Next, I'm going to single crochet three more times onto my loops. Now I have four single crochets, as well as my beginning chain on my magic circle, so now I'm going to close my magic circle. First I'll pull slightly on the tail. Now I have a bigger loop and a smaller loop. So I'm going to pull on the smaller loop from the side closest to the tail, until the other loop closes completely. And now I have one big loop, so I'm going to pull on the tail until that loop closes completely. And now I'm just going to work in rows to make a three-quarter circle shape. The original tutorial is a little confusing here. Basically, I'm just going to increase four times per row until the ear is big enough. So I'm going to chain one for the first stitch of the row. And I'm going to mark that stitch with my bobby pin as the first stitch on this side. Then I'll increase every stitch of this row, since there are four stitches. To increase the first stitch, I'll single crochet into the same stitch I just chained from, which is the second chain from the hook. Then I'll increase the remaining three stitches in the row by single crocheting twice into each stitch, so that I have a total of eight stitches in my row. And I'm going to continue increasing 4 per row until the ear is a good enough size. In the next row, I'll increase every second stitch. So chain 1 for the first stitch of the next row, mark that stitch, and turn the work. In the last row, we increased the first stitch by single crocheting in the second stitch from the hook, 
In this row, and the remaining rows for this part, we're not increasing the first stitch, so we're just going to single crochet into the third stitch from the hook to begin the next row instead. And since we're increasing every second stitch of the row, let's increase this stitch by single crocheting again into the same stitch. And I'm going to continue to increase every second stitch of this row so that I have a total of 12 stitches in the row when I'm done. So single crochet one time in the next stitch. Then single crochet two in the next stitch. And repeat that until the end of the row. In the older video, I cut off the yarn here to change colors and make stripes. You don't have to cut off the yarn if you want to change colors. Just change colors in the last stitch of this row by leaving the stitch open and finishing the stitch with a new color of yarn. Then just continue to change colors back and forth after every second row. But I'm not going to do that for this pair of ears since I'm just using one color. So once again, in the next row, I'll increase four times. This time I'll increase every third stitch. So chain one for the first stitch, mark that stitch, and turn the work. Then single crochet into the third chain from the hook for the second stitch. Then I'm gonna increase the third stitch. So single crochet twice into that stitch, and continue to increase every third stitch until the end of the row. And I'm going to continue in that pattern, increasing by the next number to add 4 increases to each row. I'll continue until I'm increasing every 8th stitch, but you can go on for as long as you like until your ears are a good size. And if you want to, continue changing colors every couple of rows for a stripey look. Alright, I've finished increasing the ear to every 8th stitch. Now I have 36 stitches total. Now I'm going to do one more row of plain single crochet without any increases. Then at the end of that row, I'm going to chain one to end the work, and cut off my yarn. Then I'm going to do the exact same thing to make the front of the ear, except I'll do the first three rows of the front using my pink yarn to make the inner ear. So I'll start the same way with a magic circle, Then chain one and single crochet four times in the circle.
Then I'll increase four times per row for two more rows until the inner ear reaches a good size. Then I'll change colors to my black yarn to finish the ear by leaving the last pink stitch open and finishing that stitch with a loop of black yarn. Then I'll continue to increase four times per row using black until I have the same amount of stitches for the front of the ear as I had for the back. Then I'll do my one row of plain single crochet to make the front the exact same size as the back. For the front of the ear though, I'm not going to end the work at the end of this row. I'm going to keep this going so that I can join the two sides together in the next row. Alright, I've finished both the front side and the back side of my ear. Next I'm going to join the two sides together. So first I'm going to line up the stitches at the top of the front side and the back side. Then instead of chaining one to start the next row, I'm going to slip stitch to the first stitch on the back of the ear. Then I'll single crochet into the second stitch with both the front and the back of the ear. And I'm going to work each stitch of this row this way into both the front and the back, so I'm going to single crochet into each stitch until I get to the middle of the row where I'm going to add a peak at the middle of the ear to give it a more cat-like shape. So I have 36 stitches in the row and I've already worked into 2 stitches, 
So I'm going to single crochet into the next 15 stitches until I get to the 18th stitch of the row. I've done the first 17 stitches of the row, and now I'm at the middle. In the original tutorial, I just did a single crochet into the 18th stitch before adding the tip of the ear, but I think it looks nicer to make a half double crochet here instead. So the tip of the ear stands out more. So I'm going to half double crochet into the next stitch. Then I'm going to make a pico at the tip of the ear. So I'm going to chain three, and then slip stitch into the third chain from the hook. Then I'm going to make another half double crochet into the next stitch so that the ear is symmetrical. If you just do a regular half double crochet here though, there will be a little gap between the pico and the stitch. So to fix that, instead of yarning over for the half double, I'm going to pull up a loop around the half double crochet that I just made before the pico, then pull up a loop in the next stitch through the front and the back of the ear, and then pull a loop through all three loops on my hook. Then just single crochet until the last stitch of the row. and slip stitch into that stitch through both sides of the ear. Then cut off a long tail of yarn to sew the ears to the headband. First I figured out where I wanted the ears to go using my bobby pins to pin them in place. I placed my ears 10 stitches apart with a 3 stitches space inside each ear. Then I sewed them down. And if you like, you could leave the ears like that, or to give it a more realistic look, you could use a grooming brush to brush out the yarn and make the ears fluffy. Just be careful not to brush the pink part.
And that's it. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a like and share it on social media. Or if you want to support my work, consider donating to my Patreon page. You can get some pretty cool perks through Patreon, like seeing my videos before everyone else. Find more information about that at patreon.com slash fairyrings. I love the way these ears turned out, especially after brushing them out. So fluffy. You can change up the colors and make any style of cat ears. You can find my older cat ears tutorial where I made these purple stripy ears in the description below. And if you use this technique, I'd love to see your interpretation. Send me pictures at any of my social media pages, there'll be links in the description below. You can also find my cat tail tutorial that I made to match these ears in the description. And if you want to keep seeing new videos like this in the future, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you all next time. Bye!